This morning I, I presented on uh, innovation trends and more specifically on the drivers and the barriers to innovation in our, in our industry and worked to uh, share some themes that, that I've uh, become more aware of uh, in my career in what's required for driving innovation and what are the, some of the things that impede innovation uh, within drug discovery and drug development. Um, so I shared some of those themes and tried to engage the audience uh, in thinking about how they might apply them to their own work. Well, certainly big trends right now are in the introduction of uh, biosimilars. And biosimilar companies are working to uh, develop their strategies and how they're going to replicate uh, innovative molecules. With that, it's requiring a very deep investigation of the innovator molecules. And so we're seeing a lot of interesting approaches to how they're characterizing the molecules and how they are thinking about uh, reverse engineering the processes to replicate those molecules. Um, within manufacturing technologies, we have spent a lot of time talking about our established platforms that uh, have moved from stainless steel manufacturing to single-use or disposable manufacturing. And what the implications are of that, that move toward more disposable manufacturing on our manufacturing footprint and how we approach the development of molecules. And ultimately, I think we all see the next step in that progression is moving toward more continuous types of processing where historically, uh, with monoclonal antibodies at least, we've been focused more on batch manufacturing. Uh, we're beginning to see people make forays into thinking more about continuous manufacturing. And not just the continuous cell culture up front, but how do you now link downstream processing to continuous cell culture to give you that continuous flow of material. The biggest challenge I think we face is simply the, the barrier to uh, the implementation of emerging technologies on our field. We historically are a, might be strong to say, risk averse um, industry, but we're heavily regulated and we work with, with many peer functions within each of our companies when we're developing drugs to get them to the market. So I don't think that any decisions are made in isolation about what we may be doing within uh, CMC or manufacturing for the delivery of a particular process, but that's done hand in hand with our regulatory affairs group, our quality group, and our, our strategy group. Think about how do we want to present a package to the regulatory authorities that is most complete and most assured success. I'm really excited about things that are springing up along the fringes of, of our industry or maybe at the interface of our industry and other things. A talk that particularly excited me was one from DARPA that we saw at the end of day yesterday and where we may be somewhat risk averse in our industry. I think if we go to a different setting with very different constraints and different needs it may allow us to push the fringes of our technologies further than we otherwise might be able to within our own industry and then be able to bring those learnings back to the biomanufacturing industry. So I think if, if we could forge more partnerships similar to what we saw in that DARPA presentation and what uh, consortia like uh, biomanufacturing are doing, then we're more apt to push the edges of our technology and our innovation. Well, we're very much a community, and you need opportunities to bring this community together in order to have a dialogue about what we're working on individually, what does that look like collectively, um, what are we seeing from maybe some of the more experienced people in, this, in our industry as far as trends and breakthroughs go, and to educate those who are coming up in the industry who are going to uh, be driving the new technologies of the future uh, to make those connections uh, across, you could say, generations within the industry, but also across disciplines and uh, 
between the innovators, um, the suppliers, and some of the others that are beginning to, uh, to come into the industry. So it's community. It's bringing the community together.